Welcome to the dialogue, learning from the masters. This podcast will offer you a rare glimpse into our in-depth interview with screenwriter Stuart Beatty. Do you think there are certain pitfalls or, or rules to screenwriting that kind of you find carry over from experience to experience? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're the, all those same mistakes that I saw reading. Um, you know, things like, uh, you know, the story. You don't know what the story is 30 pages in, 20 pages in. Right. You know, you, you haven't met the main character. You don't know who the main character is going to be. Um, scenes that go on too long and don't get buttoned. You know, they sh- here's the end three lines before but the scene drags off another three lines, or starts three lines mm-hmm. earlier, things like that. Um, you know, lack of momentum, lack of pace, tone that's all over the place. You know, saw a lot of that kind right. of stuff. Um, rules, I have, you know, I have like five basic rules that I kind of mm-hmm. try to follow, you know, but, you know, they're, they're kind of silly. You know, number one is no bookends. A oh, bookends meaning like a prologue, epilogue thing? Yeah, um, mm-hmm. bookends meaning like an old man sitting down at the fire, let me tell you a story. Right. And then coming back to, let me tell you, a guy right. at the end. Bookends. Like Titanic, like, like, that right. awful, you know, little film right. that nobody saw. <laughs> <You know. laughs> um, but that bugs you. Really bugs me. Right. I think you can always take yeah. them out and it means nothing. So that's rule number one. Number two is no bookends. Right. Just to em- for emphasis. Number three is uh, you don't kill the dog. And number four. You don't kill the dog. That's not figurative. You mean literally no killing of animals? Yeah. If there's, an, if there's a dog right. in the film, you don't kill it. Right. Why do you think people seem to be able to take killing people in movies and not animals? Good question, right? Mm-hmm. Right? It's okay if, if <laughs> right. you know, I mean, Payback was the great example, that right. Mel Gibson film. It's okay to see Mel get the shit kicked out of him and all these people get gunned down. Right. But they had to reshoot the dog not getting killed right. because get, killing the dog, everyone freaks out about. Right. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be a, a good... I'm not a pet person, so I don't Not know. a pet person? I'm happy to kill animals. You're happy to kill animals? Yeah. Mainstream America <laughs> ain't. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> um, um, so that's right. three. Four is saving the kiss till the end, that last moment. That's a good one. And then five is, uh, is you know, feel free to disregard the above four. This has been an excerpt from the dialogue Learning from the Masters with screenwriter Stuart Beatty. To get the full interview on DVD, go to thedialogueseries.com. There you will find this and all 27 in-depth interviews with the industry's leading screenwriters. You can also find these interviews at Netflix, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to iTunes.